Hey, hello guys and welcome back to Agrarian Skies and after the last episode I've actually realized what I could do is uh, I have actually captured some wither skeletons uh, by uh, getting some skeletons to spawn there using witch water you can actually turn them into wither skeletons and I found myself a couple uh, wither skulls but that's not enough we know that's not enough I've got myself like six of those but that's not enough okay that is not a very good rate at all I'm using I was using my looting my looting sword and it didn't give me a lot I it didn't give me uh, as much as I expected so what I want what I want to do this episode is create myself the uh, what is it called the beheader the cleaver it has beheading too which behates mobs uh, it has a higher rate of dropping the head so what I want to do this episode is use alumite to actually create this sword blade uh, I've got the sword blade large blade class here and we need another plate so basically they, they both need like eight uh eight material each so uh, what I could do is make some alumite which is uh, around here somewhere you know it made it alumite is made from five aluminum two iron and uh, two obsidian so that shall that should be easy enough let me just grab myself aluminum uh, Obsidian, I don't know what is the ratio, but I'll just take half a stack of both and let's go back and check the ratio out. Should be 5, 2, and 2, so it should be easy. Uh, if I'm not wrong, one obsidian stands for two uh, molten obsidian, so I could what I could do, I think I can go with 4 and then let's go for iron along with uh, 4 times I think it's 10. The ratio is around there, so let me just drop 10 inside. Uh, I'll be back when everything starts cooking up. I think it's five. Yeah, it should be five. It should be ten. And let's see how much we get from those. I'll be back soon. Hey, this thing is done. We've got six ingots. That's not enough. Uh, so let me just dump more. Uh, since I've got some molten obsidian left over, should be. I I can just put in like the same ratio again. So. Let's get cooking up and I've decided to use, uh, let me just go back into this place and I've decided to, uh, let, let's just show you iron uh, durability, tw 250 durability so uh, I'm thinking of using steel because it has a durability of 400 so uh, it's actually a lot better than steel, uh, a lot better than iron so uh, let's just get 8 for the plate, I'm thinking of using 8 for the large plate and I'm using a... Uh, the tough rods I, I'm using iron tough rods and uh, netherrack tough rods cause the stone bound ability I think might be useful for the sword I'm not too sure about that one so this let me just take like three of those and there are limitations to what you can use uh, in this mod so you can't just use all, all the materials uh, that are available in this in the mod I was thinking of using uh, the cactus because there's a jagged uh, effect which means that the lower the durability on your sword, the the more damage it does. So it might be more important than the whatever netherrack stuff that I've got. So uh, I've thrown some steel inside because it will be it will be done a lot slower. I mean iron will be done first, so we will get that alumite uh, compound, the alloy first, and let's see. It should and yes, it is done. I've got 12 ingots, so let, let's just pour 8 of those inside this thing. It's gonna take some time to fill up because it's actually 8 ingots inside. Alumite does like a base damage of 2, so it's comparable to cobalt and ardite, but manolin does like a let me just take a look. Manolin does like a base attack of 2.5, so manolin is still the better one. And also, let me just put the large blade, large plate cast on there, as so as to wait for the steel to cook up, and I'll be right back. Yep, it's done. So let me just pour the steel out. Wait, is it working? Yep, it should be working now. And on the same tangent of uh steel bars and shit, let me just go and make the armor quest that we are supposed to do. So one steel chest plate, uh, one helmet one boots and we need the leggings steel leg steel ingots leggings we are done let's just take a look at the quest book and we can see that we are done with the sewage quest uh, but what we are looking at is steel power which is right here unclaimed reward I'll claim the reward now 
and we hear the ding 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 okay whatever this is a basic reward bag so let me just open it blackberry seed sucks uh i really don't have a use for that now let me just put this away in this chest and i have to create a armor stand for the steel bar the steel armor so what am i thinking armor stand so it's from bibliocraft it's really amazing uh it's kind of cool to see steel armor being rendered onto these guys oh i don't need steel leggings here okay oh my god it is so amazing so our steel plate should be done uh where is it yep it's done and now we are up to the iron part of these tough rods and i'll be back when that's done cooking up to assemble the sword hey and the iron is done let me just pour this straight out of the of the smeltery straight into this tough root tough rock cast and now we are done with that let me just head back to the station i'm using ender post to teleport around because i am rich like that so let me just get the cleaver going where is the cleaver let me just put all this stuff in place and let me just name this the 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 beheader behead i can't spell the beheader okay so <laughs> this is just crazy Con it plus 11 damage i guess uh, that's cool so let me just take this out it has really high durability it's like wow this is crazy this is just crazy and uh let me just take some stuff out <laughs> i mean let me just take some of the wither skeletons out i've turned off my jetpack but uh let me just press con comma i've set it to comma and let me just uh make sure everything's all right and turn on this guys and yeah we can just poke a hole in here so that when the wither skeleton spawn i can just behave those guys really easily whoa that is crazy wow that's a one hit i believe it is amazing let's see whether we can level this guy up to the max i don't see any wither skulls drop so that is not a good sign that this is working wait this is weird let me just let me just take some let me just take a couple swings and see how long it takes for me to get the Oh, there it is. Finally got one after like a couple kills from my last card. It, it barely took, it, it barely took a, a, barely took like 10 seconds. So, whatever. So, oh, that is really good. I've leveled my sword and it gave me beheading, which gives me a higher rate of killing those guys. I think I can actually upgrade this guy with uh, some lapis so I can actually uh get some looting looting on this guy so it will be a tad bit more efficient i've got a couple there always oh, let me just get back in so to grab all the loot that i've got whoa gonna get some exp take those guys out come on i am here to kill everyone so let me just turn these guys off uh <clears throat> i've got a couple skulls just just a wow this is like three skulls just from killing those guys in like I think it was less than one minute I can I can assure you whoa another beheading wow that is crazy these guys are everything's going my way like it's all the upgrades are actually helping me get those skulls a little bit more efficient than ever and I'll be right back with more stuff to do hey and these are the final two to max out the beheader uh, as you can see I can just put this I can just take this out and it leaves 49 so two thing three i'm done with this uh this just goes to show how i can go all up in this piece we've got some necrotic bones bones useless crap and what we are going to do next is to max out what this guy can do uh i shall pro i could probably do nether quartz and then i can put flux capacitor on there you know what i can do mossy or flux i'm not too sure i think i can do mossy because i am just a bitch like that i've got a ton of stats on this guys uh so that's cool that's really really cool so i think stonebound lost there's kind there's some kind of stats over there i'm not too sure chance to be at 50 percent that is crazy that is really crazy so we are going to be getting like a ton of wither skeleton skulls uh all up in this piece and i'll be back when i have some plans going on up this episode hey currently i'm adding uh nether quartz i do have some laying overs laying around and yeah let me just get this max out the sound is really irritating so uh let me just take a look around here let me just max, max this out 5.5 and let's take a look 
it's done. I really don't want to waste the last modifier. Yeah, if I put another one here, it will, it will take away the last slot of modifier, so that is not a good idea. Now I've increased this by one heart. Uh, the last one, I guess I can. I've actually mastered. Did, did I actually master? Yeah, I think I actually mastered this sword. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think what I can do is increase this guy. I think I, the last one I can do mossy just in case uh stuff happens. Yeah, and I'll be right back with uh yeah we do need more nether quartz uh just to be sure. I've actually changed up this system to uh have no any waste left over. So any sand that that previously came up here will immediately be sieved out and any sand that came out here will go inside this uh oak barrel of witch water and will be turned into soul sand and will be go will be piped over to this autonomous activator and we'll be using those soul sand to be making stuff. So we got gas tier, ancient spores, all this kind of crappy stuff that we don't need. Yeah I might void this. I've been voiding most of those stuff already and uh, we don't have enough. Let me just keep those guys in here and uh, uh, let's take a look into automating soul sand like mass producing soul sand because I believe there's a quest for that and also uh, what? what am I talking about? I'll be back soon with a system set up for automating soul sand off camera and I'll show you guys what I've done hey I'm back uh, I've set up the system now I've got an aqueous accumulator providing water there inside as you guys may or may not know uh, more mycelium means more I mean, more mycelium means a faster rate of transferring, transforming witch water into... Wow, I nearly died there. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, I forgot to turn on my jet engine again. Uh, that is That was kind of careless of me. But the more mycelium there is, the faster rate at which water will change into witch water. So what I'm going to do... But we're not going for that, for that huge amount of mycelium shit. But we, what we are going for is the tidiness of the place so I'm just going to go with just a couple blocks of mycelium and we've got hollow stone brick covers so that this will look just a bit more nicer than before I can't seem to place it down that is weird that is weird so uh, we can do this wait what why isn't it working oh yep now now it should work uh, if I just continue placing along this area so we are we are pulling the uh, soul sand out from below and we've got the I'm gonna explain the mechanism pretty soon and also we need to put some item ducts and item ducts below where is my item ducts it, it's around here I've made sure that my jetpack is fully charged before I went through uh, to, on this plan uh, let's see I think I'm missing a couple uh, I've placed down six barrels yep there's there's the six uh, there should be water there so let me just put this here and where's my covers uh, luckily I prepared a lot for this activity that I've got going on so I'm almost done placing those guys down and we've got to set them to output mode uh, output output we have to click the small hitbox that uh, that is on the controlling side whatever so uh, we are almost done and we shall put some levers on to set them to permanent output mode I've got some levers on me that should be easy enough and also uh, while we are on the tangent I'm using a tesseract here uh, I've got to set these guys to redstone signal ignored so it will continue continuously provide power to these guys and I've got the English extruder here passing cobblestone into this guy and it's going to macerate cobblestone into the into gravel and uh, the excess sand, the 10% chance that you'll get sand will just straight away go through into the system and the and, th and then all the gravel just passes through into this one and uh, all the produce, the sand will go into the system and the dust will go straight into this trash and uh, this is where our soul sand is going to land uh, let me just pipe those guys up around into this barrel I believe I can put this in, in the bottom if not, I'll have to make do with going in through the top. And yes, uh, we are done. Now we just need lava and water to pop to to get the igneous extruder running, and we will be done. Uh, so let's see how this is going to work. Uh, let me get myself some lava. I've got a bucket of lava. I've got a bucket of water. Okay, that is 
exactly what we need and we are going to kick the system off and let's see how this thing goes so we are going to pulverize a cobblestone down into gravel which is yeah which is right here and we've got an excess of, of sand going in through going through the systems and we've yeah we've hit a point where we are pulling stuff out uh this thing turns into soul sand and immediately gets pulled out uh but this one doesn't seem to pull out i don't know why let me just take a look underneath how mode enable let's see they are not flick the guys off oh wait they are not connected to the original system so uh, let me just hook those guys up here and it should be pulling the soul sand out that is great this system is like infinitely modular you can just keep on going with the rows let me just demonstrate it for you so you can just take the fluid ducts and go straight on to this row I don't have enough fluid ducts on me but you get the idea so uh, you can also put another line of item ducts to go inside this area so uh, as long as you have the stuff that's needed, you can actually do this quite easily and infinitely expendable uh, also. That is pretty done amazing. I've got 10 soul sand uh, by far and it's working pretty fine. I'll, we'll actually pipe, I'll actually manually take those soul sand out and put this inside the sifter just in case. And yeah, I'll be back after I check the time on this episode to see whether I've got enough time left to do more projects mini projects around the base sounds like a cool idea I'll be back when I've done checking the time oh sh I forgot to actually disable this guy so it was actually losing water because of the redstone level that I've got down there so that's all we've got time for, to for today and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll be back with another episode of Agrarian Skies coming right up